Hey everyone. We're live. Yes, we are. Let me make the screen bright. Okay, it's nice and bright. Can you guys hear us okay? Welcome right. to the Joy Villa show. So I'm with my good friend Biz. And we, so I know I haven't done a live stream in a while. I've been a little bit MIA on YouTube, and I'm so sorry busy. for that, guys. She's been busy. I've been really busy. And um, this is sort of just a random, what even time is it here? It's 5 p.m. in California. So it's 8 p.m. on a Friday in New York and the East Coast. So I'm going to be going back to my YouTube lives. I'm doing more lives. And we were talking, we were developing something really awesome. And Biz is like, you need to be doing lives more often. So I am in my LA studio. So we just moved into a West LA studio, West Hollywood studio for the Joy Villa show. I am rolling out a podcast soon, very soon. And we're setting up the whole studio. So it's kind of plain in the back. But this is where we're at right now in beautiful West Hollywood. And it's gorgeous here. So this is my good friend, Biz. Hi, Aaron. So Biz, what were we talking about? where we said, let's do a YouTube live. Yeah, I think um, we were discussing a uh, brand that you're about to kick off, but I think the thing that we got yeah. so involved in this thing, yeah, and we said, you know what? It'd be really nice for other people to share that experience of what does yeah. it take to start creating something? Exactly. You know, when you get really inspired, pieces of paper come out mm -hmm. and you're writing things down, but mm -hmm. if you're not writing it down, yeah, exactly. Right? <laughs> she, she, she's got them all over. All the over. Table. But, you know. Coffee comes out. <laughs> so, David Bowie comes. Yeah, and, and the thing is, right, we mm -hmm. we have all these brilliant ideas. Yeah. And then we forget about it. Exactly. And then it becomes just another idea. Then you talk about something else. Yeah. So the fact that we're writing it down is kind of like we have to take this piece of paper closer away. to you. Yeah. I feel like we're too far. All right. All right. We're there very we go. Close. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Uh, so the fact that we're writing it down is yeah. just that little bit closer to making it happen. It's exactly. That's so true. I mean? It becomes more real because when you write down, and I'm just constantly producing as we're talking, but when you write down something, you make it more real to yourself. Right. Right. And you make it more real in the universe because a thought is a thought that can sort of dissipate. Yeah. And, disappear and you go, oh, that was a cool thought. But if you don't write it down or voice memo record it, right. I do that a lot. So I, I'll talk about a project I'm doing is I'm writing a book and it is going to be my whole journey, politically, spiritually, emotionally, fashionly, <laughs> everything. And it's the Joy Villa story right. um, before my childhood, uh, things you don't know about me. I want to just bear it all on the table. You know, the, the bad, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I can't wait to hear the bad bits. Oh, yeah. You just want the tabloid <laughs> gossip. Oh, the gossip. Oh, the gossip. <laughs> you Brits and your gossip, your Daily Mail UK. So we're, it's going to be so juicy but so real. And sometimes, I mean, I'm, I'm currently writing it, and I was going to finish. I'm going to finish it this year, probably release it next year. Right. Shop it to some publishers and everything. And it's, it's a process because, yes, I could sit down and just write a book get it out there. I'm working with an editor. Um, but what I'm doing is I record on my phone when I'm out, right. I'll be walking. Last night I did a Periscope live. While I was walking to talk about my podcast show. That's going to be coming out the joy Villa show. And I did a, per a Periscope live. And afterwards I was like, so inspired because I'm walking, I'm talking, talking to you guys, hashtagging. You guys are talking to me. I go, you know, this is how I feel. I feel like X, Y, Z. And so I go, let me record this. So I just, I put on my, my voice, mail voice app and I just start recording how I feel and it turns into a little story of just 10 minutes right. from my childhood. And I go, this is a, this is a part of the book. Right. And then I don't think of any, I don't try to edit it. I don't go to, you know, immediately write it down. I store it in my phone, but then what I'm doing with my editor is I send those to her and she types it up. Right. And if you didn't do that at that point, when you're walking down the street, and it'd be gone. It'd be gone. I would have forgot. I go, what was I thinking? Because it's in the moment. It's, right. it's when you are blessed with the muse to come in. When God gives you a stroke of creativity, you need to take advantage of that. Right. Well, we, but we have technology now, so we don't always have to take advantage of in, oh, let's just start carving a, a marble sculpture. Right. You know, maybe you're right. at the grocery store and or you're with your kids. So record it or write it down. Record it, write it down. And think, hey, look, it's also a bit of a double edged sword. Yeah. When you let others know, you got to do it. That's true. Everybody, exactly. You know, That's they're going to say, George, do you remember? You, you said us, you're writing you're a, book. a book. Where is that book? 
Exactly. You got to do it or you got to give people an update. Yeah. If you say, listen, it's not going to happen. Like I was looking at running for Congress and I, and I opened up my exploratory committee. Wow. Yes. I'll vote. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your vote. Your illegal vote. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you're a citizen. I mean, you're, you're no, a citizen. only a green card. Baby. Oh, okay. Can you vote with a green card? No. No. no okay. No, so that would be no. an illegal vote, but you know. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. I would, so uh, I will take it. I would definitely be. <laughs> We'll go democratic yeah. on it. We'll take it. Yeah, so, but I, I decided after doing research, even though I know I could run a successful com campaign and win, that now is not the time. Right. Because I would be abandoning the book project. I have another album I'm currently working on, a tour I'm planning. I have a whole team of people who depend on me for their livelihood. I know. And I have projects that are already in the works, like our project we're about to right. work on. And I go, you know, I'd have to abandon about 12 projects to fully immerse myself into a, a real campaign. Right. So I, I opened up my exploratory committee and I decided now it's not the time, okay. but in the future it could possibly be something I'm gonna do. And it was an incredible experience. Right. I learned a lot. And so I decided I'm gonna continue with my creative endeavors as a recording artist, number one on iTunes, Amazon, and Billboard. But you know um, something? But also be political. Sure, but they already be heard more that. Freely. So you're going to have to run sometimes down the line. Exactly, but yeah. I say that to say, is now that I've opened up that can of worms, now if I were to do that and then just completely withdraw from the political field right. and never mention politics again, that would be a violation True. of what I told you, unless I have a reason for that. Absolutely. Because I do believe in that you can change your mind and, and go through the journey. But my creative endeavors and my politics are now intertwined. I'm able to go to DC and speak at Faith and Freedom, go to the Susan B. Anthony list and speak about pro-life causes. I'm able to be as political as I want without the constraints of a campaign right. or having to throw my weight behind running in a certain area to collect votes. Because I like to be very free, you guys know that, and I don't do anything to try to get something from you. It's like, oh, I believe in this because I want your vote. No, I believe in it because I believe in it. Right. So I say all that to say is creative freedom is is freedom too. It, well, I mean, when you're creating, you are being free in that space, right? That's right. That's what you're. That's what you're creating. You're creating something that you believe in. Yeah. Something that inspires you. You're not being restricted. That's right. So that in itself is freedom. I think everyone of your audience here, that's they will right. say, well, actually, the time I feel extremely free is when I'm doing my own thing. That's right. Right. Yeah. That's and right. Something that I believe in. Something that I love. So exactly. Yeah. Okay. So we got some comments. Oh, Hi, thanks. Biz. Hi, John. Aaron Mefford. Hey, you two. Good evening. I love the outfit, Joy. The fonts. Hi, the fonts. Thank you. So a lot of you guys are my long-term viewers. Thank you for joining back. And Stan, is that the is that the dog whisperer? <laughs> you do look like a, you know the Caesar, guy. Caesar, that's me. Caesar, he does look like it. <laughs> Who is that? Stan, you're the man. <laughs> Stan, the man. Stadanko, the, the dog whisperer. This is my friend Biz. He's in, he's into business. Rouse House, walk it like you talk it. Yeah, walk That's it true. like you talk it. Walk it, walk it like you talk it. Uh, I just shared the live stream on Twitter. Thank you, Aaron. You're incredible. Joy Tribe, hashtag Joy Tribe. Unfortunately, I've only been active there for about three months, so I don't have much of a following. Samurai215, okay. That's fine. Hello, how is everyone? All is good here. You're in, an up, you're in for an uphill battle against the mainstream. It's true, but I'm used to it. I wish I could hey, get listen, a vocal only. If we didn't have a game, it would be boring, exactly. right? Exactly. You enjoy those exactly. moments that are Exactly. It's fun. It's fun to have a little fight. We don't like going downhill, baby. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Laugh a lot, dog whisper. Yeah, but it can be done with success. So yeah. we're talking about what is we talk about creativity, the art of creativity. So, Biz, why don't you introduce yourself? What you do? Sure. Um, you know, so you can get some beautiful stalkers and yeah, fans exactly. from oh, this YouTube live. Absolutely, and I love the Joy Villa tribe. Um, so, what do I do? Um, well, I have two aspects of me, but primarily, I'm an entrepreneur. Yes. Right. Yes. I love creating things. I love creating businesses. Mm -hmm. uh, I created one business, which was a philanthropic thing, uh, whereby people could use their online boxes to donate stuff. Yeah. Right, for free. With and our mutual friend, Monica. Right. That's right. And, and that's blown up. That Amazon has. joined Amazon's forces. Taking it up and everything. It's huge. And so I have, this, I have this thing called uh, around doing good. Mm -hmm. So I'm about to launch another one, which is called Donate to Share. And it is about peer-to-peer -peer donation. To share. She so, needs yeah. donations. Uh, so, well, this is going to be different. It's going to sit on its own. 
where yeah. people in communities, if someone needs something and someone has something to give, today there is nothing to connect those two other than the charity. Mm. This platform allows them to connect to each other. Mm -hmm. and, and so we're going to be launching that soon. The wow. other, other things that I do, I have a digital marketing business, nice. as you know. No, uh, yep, yep. And Very I am successful. big into denim. So, denim. yeah. So one of the things that we do, we manufacture denim. We make for some of the biggest brands, mm -hmm. Hudson, Page, and everything. Mm -hmm. But I want to do something with you. <gasps> the secret's <laughs> out! Biz, let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> it's funny your name is Biz and you're big on Biz. That's right, right. You know? no, but I, I love creating things. I think that's yeah. also a double-edged sword. Because in the sense that when you do create a lot of things, sometimes you feel you're moving too fast and something isn't taking, you know, sort of uh, embedding itself into the ground. Right. Right. And, right. And, you know, people say you should be, you know, we're talking oh, you should, about Yeah, we're talking about you should be focused. You need to focus. Choose one thing. Right. Focus on that. Make sure it's successful. Listen, you got, we don't believe that. I don't think that's true. You can focus yeah. on many things. That's like saying you can't be married with kids because you need to only focus on one family right. member at a time. You know what? That, it's true. ridiculous. Of course you could have your wife or husband, your kids. You could have a job. You can focus on a lot of different things as long as you make sure that you're spending time to create that's each right. one of them. Right. If you let one drip down where you're at work 24-7 and you, you ignore your kids, right. one is going to shrivel down. You know, your, your kids are going to stop loving you. They're going to be like, what's I, happening? And that is really, really important, the fact that you are taking all of those things yeah. and you're allocating time to them. Yes. And so you can actually say, well, I've got 20 minutes to do this. That's what right. What are the two things that are important because I can only do two things in those 20 minutes. Right. And you do that. Yeah. And, and then I'm the not, next 20 minutes yeah. you have, you do the other two. You didn't yeah. do that 20 minutes. And, and then, do it all. okay, I've got an hour for my kids. Right. What, and then all of a sudden that thing that you do in that hour becomes a quality thing. That's right. Right. That's it's not right. like, well, let me see if I should go out. No. We're going to go there. We're going to do this, this, and this. And yes. then we come back and they come back and they say, my God, that was such a good event. Right? That's right. So, so you do can. what you're doing yeah. while you're doing it. Absolutely. That is a philosophy I follow. We both follow. You do what you're doing while you're doing it, which means if you are writing a note, you're not also, hey, yeah, hi, how's it going over right. there? And then, oh, let me also check Twitter. And then, oh, wait, oh, no, I need to make some coffee. That's when you need to focus a little bit, right? right? You, there is focus is very, very important. But focusing where you're blinded to do anything else is wrong. That's actually not focusing. Right. That's thinking you can only handle one thing at a time. But if I'm writing my note, if I'm writing how I feel right now, I'm going to write the note. I'm going to think. I'm going to write the note. I'm going to finish the note. And, and then I'm going to go make coffee. Yeah. In that time, you're not answering any phone calls. That's not right. Nothing. You're not on right. social media. When I'm on social media, I'm on social media. And that's the only way I've stayed sane because you guys know I'm a celebrity and I get I get a, a ton of inflow on social media. It's kind of crazy. Um, and I don't always say, oh, I'm a celebrity. I mean it to say my life has completely changed. She, in she is the most adorable celebrity, <laughs> I have to say. You. Thank right. you. And it's not like I brag about it. It's a fact. Yeah. But which with great power comes great responsibility. Sure. And I do have responsibility to speak to you guys and be honest and to say my viewpoints because I know that I am a trusted source for an opinion. Whether you like it or not, I'm an opinion. You don't have to always like it or agree. So when I'm on Twitter, I will check what's the news, what's happening, politics, entertainment, pop culture. I will respond. I will thank my fans, you guys who tweet me. When I'm on YouTube, I do the same thing. And then I will finish. I don't get lost in tweets. I try not to. I don't then go on Amazon and go shopping and then check my voicemails. No, when I'm checking my voicemails, I'm checking my voicemails. I put the phone down. I make eye contact with whoever's there. And I make sure that I am present because that is the most important thing. I think the thing that I just took away from what you're saying, mm -hmm. at that moment when you're doing something, do that thing. Yes. Right? So yes. finish that thing before you move on to something else. Absolutely. If you're checking your emails, check your emails. Right. And in that time, if you can only do two things, do that two thing. Exactly. And then move on to that thing. Because otherwise, yeah. you are actually going to start slipping. And you're not going to finish your Amazon order if that was what you're doing. Right. You're not going to finish the letter. You're not going to answer your uh, fans uh, on social media. Yeah. And, and my attention will be on it. Oh, yeah. I, did I ever? Did I answer? 
answer that? Did I answer that? And then you can walk away in the evening saying, I didn't do anything today. Exactly. Just you know? a bunch of hot kind of things. Right. Yeah, exactly. So yes, yeah. so let's read some comments. Just don't hang out with Robert De Niro. Yeah, no way. I did it to I did I did it to streamline things and not have to work so hard and so much. Oh, so I, I will like never that. work for anyone like that. Funny thing is that I managed to play a major part in changing the warehousing process of a Fortune 500 company. Amazing, because, Samurai. Wow, Samurai 215, yeah. well done. And then Freedom, uh, TV Freedom is Film says, everything you want to do something, everything you want to do something, 90% is just showing up and starting it. That is so true. Isn't it? Oh, my gosh. So right. Just show up. Show up and don't be afraid to say something or start something. I mean, that's I've been in situations where I'm like, oh, I really don't want to go. I'm like, I want to stay home or whatever. And I, go, I don't have enough to offer to this meeting or whatever it is or red carpet or business thing or event. And then I go, you know, I'm just going to go as a discipline. I go, it becomes one of the best things of my right. life. They end up asking me to be a part of it, or I meet, I meet cool people like you. Right. And I go, my gosh, if I wasn't here in the first place, you know, I would have never had that opportunity. General rule of life, the minute you don't want to do something, do that thing. Exactly. Exactly. Right. I love yeah. that. I love that. I'm going to get some water here. When you feel like you don't want to do something, I'm going to steal your water glass. Because mine is holding the laptop. Do it. Because you push yourself. And it's, it's a good discipline measure. Like the gym, some things you're, you you do it out of discipline. You're not going to always want to go to the gym, right. but you do it. You don't always want to clean up your kitchen, but you do it. You don't always want to take your kids to school right. or do those, you know, admin uh, administration details of your business. If you're a home business. You don't want to do it, but that's what's needed, right? Exactly. It's needed. You have to do it. Yeah, There's exactly. There's no two-way about it, mm -hmm. right? You mm -hmm. know it's needed. You don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Well, frankly, who gives a damn? Exactly. It's not about feelings. No. Facts just don't do care it. about your just, feelings. Just do it. Just because do it. Get it done. You, get her done. Yeah. And and if you do it today and you regret it today, you'll enjoy it tomorrow. That's, That's right. another way of looking at That's it. True. Right? And I never regret anything that I just like force myself, my lazy ass, to get up and do. I never regret it after. But I do that. You do? I do that when I have to get in the morning and start running because I got to do some work. You regret I'm it. Like, I'm like, no, I don't While regret it. it. I'm, I'm not re regressing it. I'm like, uh, you know what? Maybe I should just give it up for today. Oh, no, that uh -huh. I'll do. And, oh, yeah. And, and run twice as hard tomorrow. Oh, yeah, no, that right? never works. But uh, no, no. No, no, no. So I have to say, no, I'm getting up mm -hmm. and I'm doing it. And like, do you ever regret, like, after you ran from no, home? Never. 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 In yeah, fact, you always probably go, why did I complain? I feel yeah. so good now. And and uh, not only do you, the rest of the day goes well. Because why? Mm -hmm. Because you already achieved something. Mm -hmm. You started your day with achieving exactly. something, exactly. and then you're ready to hit the road on the other, next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Because exactly. otherwise, if you didn't do that, that's one failure. Right. And then you're not going to do it in something else, and exactly. another failure. And then the end of the day, you're saying, fuck, I'm a total failure. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Total failure. <laughs> whoa, whoa. I want to give up. Life. I didn't do anything right. So I want to say something interesting about what you just said. Yeah. You need to give yourself little wins on the creativity journey. The art of creativity involves giving yourself a win. So let's say you're a painter, because we're all artists, actually. Sure. You can be a business artist, like Biz is, very creative mind. You can't be a successful business person or engineer or even mathematician without some creativity. We are creative beings. We create, create an effect. So let's say you're a painter, and what you paint is large-scale, huge paintings, and you're just, you just can't, you don't have time to paint a painting today, right. but you want to create. Well, paint a small painting today, or do a sketch, finish it. Have it done, put it in your sketchbook. That's a win. Right. You may have not done the big project right. that you're famous for, you're known for, that you can sell or whatever that you really uh, imagined, but you did something on your creative journey. You at least sketched out a concept right. or whatever's in your head. You got something down, and tomorrow you'll go, you know what? Yesterday I sketched, and today right. I can paint when you have more time. Right. You know, do something creative, splurge on your creativity, because if you don't, you, no one's going to do it for you. No one's going to say, hey, that it's time true. now. It's time for you, Marcus, <laughs> hey, to now get creative, okay? Now you got 10, 15 minutes. Go create. I agree. No one's going to tell you that. Do you it. have to tell yourself. JDI. 
It's all right. <laughs> we'll tell you. Okay, let's read some of these. Um, let's see. Uh, exactly, Stan. Peter Fonda is disgusting. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah, exactly. You guys, want, we're not going to really talk a lot of politics today. We're talking about creativity, but you guys already know where I stand. And on my Twitter, I talk about Peter Fonda and all the controversies that's happening. Peace, MAGA fam. Hey, Marcus. Thank you. Samurai, these changes were implemented globally, and, and I have documentation that shows the role I played. So this was on his warehousing thing. Mm. Wonderful. Hashtag MAGA. Good evening from Chicago. Awesome, Marcus. Hey, Caesar. I'm a big fan. My dog starts licking himself every time Geraldo appears on TV. What should I do? Turn off your TV. <laughs> this is not Caesar the Dog Whisperer. That's hilarious. People who are tuning in now are like, what? Is, is that the Dog Whisperer? Oh, my gosh. Where can we buy Melania Trump's coat? <laughs> I think it's in Zara. It's Zara. Yeah, yeah Zara. Craziest part of it. Okay, so the Fortune 500 company. Whoa, awesome. I'm in Amarillo. Marcus, nice to meet you. So I love it. You guys are ch chatting amongst yourselves. I make music videos, get I to interview that. some really cool people. I couldn't make music or videos before I woke up one day. I decided I want to do it now. I do it. Awesome. Are you two in California? Yes. West Hollywood. In my new studio, I'm getting set up. Um, cool. My bad. I love the creative talks too. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I'm always political, but right. I like to focus today. We're going to focus on creativity because a lot of people have been asking as well. When are you going to do more of your artist encouragement series? Right. I have an artist encouragement YouTube series and, um, I haven't recorded a new one for a while. So this will be, this is a, a, a YouTube live. You can also see the replay, but this basically would fall under the artist encouragement That's series. That's fantastic. Cause it's so amazing. And you know, like we are probably most, uh, happy when you're creating something. Mm -hmm. Even when you're cooking something, yes. you're happier. If you're running, yes. uh, if you're doing a plan, yeah. just putting it on paper, you get excited about it. Totally. Right? And I think it basically makes you younger. The it more does. you create, the, because as a kid, I remember I used to be happy, yeah. like getting stuck in mud and doing things. Making right? mud pies. Yeah, exactly. Right? Being in a so, Star Wars cantina when you're in the playground. I did that all the time. Yeah. So I think <laughs> creating I, I, world. I just create. Just, yeah. Even if it's, you know, even if it doesn't mean anything to you now, yes. just create because I think that kind of like liberates you. Exactly. Right? He's also, uh, Marcus says, I'm listening to this while cooking. Laugh aloud. Funny he said that. That yeah. is hilarious. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching you. <laughs> It's a two-way camera. <laughs> we can see it. Well, you're gonna burn that. Take that off the fire. Yeah. Take it off the stove. <laughs> Add a little salt to that one. <laughs> He's like, what? what? No. Oh man, I love cooking. Though I love cooking. I love cooking. Oh, as it's well. so great. Yeah. So we're gonna end off the broadcast pretty soon. This is a short one because we are actually in a meeting developing some stuff, and we're working on a possible Joy Villa jeans line denim. With biz, you heard it here. Really cool. That's right. Custom denim, high quality. So that's what we're creating today. And uh, I will definitely break it. Break it out. I saw breakfast. Break <laughs> intermittent fasting. But I will definitely announce it when it's concrete and where you can buy it. What you can do. In the meantime, you can follow me at joyvilla.com under uh, joy at at joy underscore villa on Twitter and Periscope at Joy Villa Music on Facebook. And Biz, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at, uh, I have a denim company called Heels and Jeans. Mm -hmm. You can follow us there at Heels and Jeans underscore officials. Mm -hmm. So you can see that, or you can just uh, text me, email me. Don't uh, give out your phone yeah, number. No, I won't. <laughs> I was like, text him. Uh -oh. <laughs> right. But anyway, yeah. so you can basically find me anywhere on the internet and awesome. uh i don't actually have i have a twitter but i haven't used it for a while so, yeah because yeah. you're a behind the scenes guy yeah. You don't do, yeah he does manufacturing business development so he's not but if they want to ask you a question could they do that they could email me they could email you what's yeah, your yeah. email so you can email me at biz at heels and jeans.com h-e-e-l-s and jeans.com and biz is b-i-z b-i-z that's it cool all right Biz at heelsandjeans.com. Yeah. Awesome. And you can always find me, joy at joyvilla.com. We love you guys. Thank you, Biz, so much you're for amazing joining me. And you're yes, amazing. That's right. See ya. Bye. Be creative today. Create yes. lots of incredible things, lots of projects. Go out there, make the best of your day today and your weekend. Thank you so much. Have fun, guys. Peace out. This has been the Joy Villa Show. Bye.